Okay, good morning everyone. So I am back in the States and um, I uh, just rested yesterday. Um, I'm still sick. So some kind of upper respiratory virus. So um, not COVID, not flu, not um, anything like that, RSV or anything. So <coughs> I'm going to make um, a turkey soup. So um, let me go into uh, the store and uh, get the ingredients. And um, I'll be uh, showing you guys that in a little while. Thank you. themselves over these prices. This is just outrageous.
Okay, so I am going to make some homemade turkey soup here in the art studio. So let me get everything prepared. I have my leftover turkey I'm going to cut up pieces here. I've already, already washed my hands and that kind of thing. This turkey was really good, but being sick right now, the best thing is uh, soup. So, in order to not waste, waste not want too much, is uh, just to go ahead and uh, make our turkey into a soup. And you can pretty much put anything in your turkey that you want, but I'm gonna keep this pretty basic. Uh, which is celery, carrots, onion, and uh, leftover turkey and a little chicken broth. I was looking for bone broth, but the cost of everything is just so much money. So yeah, so I'm just gonna cut up my turkey meat. Everything's in storage, my tagine's in storage and all that. Otherwise, I'll show you guys a do a traditional like lamb meat soup cooked in my tagine. So, but that's okay. Let's cut that up. Cut that turkey meat up. and chopped up. I like to taste a piece. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Even cold. Oh, oh. Now I'm going to so I'm going to wash my <coughs> to do with some uh, artwork to hang a little bit later in the studio here. Get that hung. I remember when celery used to be a dollar for a whole pack now. That's four dollars for a pack of celery. Definitely. Okay, that's real good. Can't use that one. Times are definitely changing. We are definitely heading for a recession. Because everything is just so high. Now, just trying to be really careful with this. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my wash my celery. I'm doing it with one hand. to make some purple cabbage to have on the side. Okay, so I chopped up my my turkey. 
I chopped up my onions, my celery, and my carrots. And so now I'm going to put a little uh, olive oil in the pan here. Let's heat that up a little bit. Okay. So I put a little olive oil in the pan, and I also have some uh, chicken broth here. So we're going to use the chicken broth, but not right now. But for right now, I'm just going to um, put this in here along with the uh, chicken juice. Would brown my onions but um we're just going to put that down a little bit and then i'll put my chicken and my chicken broth in so over here i have some organic uh, red cabbage and i'm just going to um wash it cut it up and uh and just have it on the side with my my turkey soup Look at that, doesn't that just look lovely? It's nice and purple. So I'm just gonna wash that here. And then I'm going to chop it up. We'll get cooking on that. Okay, so now my cabbage is all cut up. And I'll just cut up a little bit of onions to clear that. I'm going to stir fry it lightly, not too much. Um, kind of, I like it still to have a little crunch to it. So I'm cooking in an art studio. Give this a little check there. Just gonna stir that a little bit. Let's let that cook. Let's see. It's not the best video, but I'm just gonna cook that down. And my onions are translucent, so that's good. Normally I would put some seasoning, but this I think is already seasoned enough because uh, so I'm just gonna let this cook. Put a little broth in here. Let me just let this cook for a while. Let it simmer down. 
know, maybe about 20 minutes. And that's what it looks like right now. And we'll just let that cook. And uh, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for my soup to cook, we are going to hang some art in the art studio here. Well, the art studio slash apartment. So, okay, so this is the piece I'm going to hang right here. I'm gonna hang it up here on this wall. I don't really have a name for this yet, but um, I've done this a while back. And um, just figured I better go out ahead and hang it. So we got some pieces hung up. And that's another one right there that I did. I uh, don't have a name for that one either, but I just figured I'd put some pieces up here. And of course, Jamila did this one, so yeah. And uh, she's also working on something over here in the art studio. These are our canvases. We keep our art supplies down here. And uh, also her tattoo um, educational tools. And this piece right here, I don't know what this is going to be, but that's what she's working on right now. And, um, and this is my mess over here. I'm working on something. I'm working on, it's called Walking in My DNA. It's a collection that I'm doing in, uh, with the, um, with the uh, book, as well as a um, poetry book as well, and uh, maybe a catalog book. We'll see. So this is my piece I'm working on. I'm not quite finished with it yet. So, yeah. So stay tuned. Okay, so we got that piece of art hung up. So yeah, so I like that there. We'll leave that there. And again, I'm working on this piece right here. And uh, hopefully I'll be done with this by this evening. I think this one is going to be called Walking in My DNA. Yeah. So we're checking the soup now. Wow, that looks delicious. Look at that. And my purple cabbage is already done. So now, mm -hmm. just stir that up a little bit there. And then I'll test, test the carrots. That didn't mean to get a little purple cabbage in it. It's okay. It's all going down the same way. But uh, let me just, uh, I think my carrots are already done. So now next, should I put potato or should I put macaroni? I think I'm having a taste with potatoes, but I had, uh, I don't know, macaroni is a little bit faster. Maybe we'll do macaroni this time. Do a little macaroni. I'm gonna pour a little bit more chicken broth in there. And I'm gonna add the macaroni. And I really didn't even need the macaroni because I could have just had the carrots serve as my starch. Um, but you know, a little macaroni won't hurt, so we'll go ahead and pour that in. And um, just let that cook up. I'll go ahead and put some more chicken balls in there. And then um, we'll see how that comes. Okay, so now I just put the chicken in. So now I'm just gonna stir that up. Are you making a video of that too? Mm -hmm. So I might have to add a little bit more broth. Yeah. Into that. I think I, I don't know, I don't know. I get, I get. And this is the final result. Delicious.